every now and then we'll get to meet our customers and it's really nice to know when they say, hey, you guys are doing a great job. And that's what makes you feel good at the end of the day, that you actually made an impact. Where I'm at on my career journey right now, I really enjoy the small to medium sized business because you get to wear a lot of hats. It gotta make you happy. I'm happy with what I'm doing. If you are happy with what you're doing, you be the best of it. I have been with Tri-State for about a little under four years now, uh, and I am uh, involved in our sales division. I've always had a passion for sales, as far as working with customers, helping them, you know, whether that's cutting costs, being more productive, driving revenue. I am a robotics technician here, and I kind of oversee, there's about seven or eight robotic cells in the plant. I actually started in the powder coat line, so I was brought in, had no prior experience, no prior knowledge. This is a nice story, you know. When I came to the States, I'm looking for a welding job, but at the time, I didn't know the area too well, so I, could, I didn't know which way to go. So she said to me, I know a great company you're gonna like working for. On, my re on our way in, we met Mr. Don Keller coming out. He's going on a fishing trip to Canada. She said, this is my friend I told you about, looking for a welding job. She said, go in there and those guys and them will give you a test. If you pass it, you'll get the job. I said, I'll see you when you get back. 18 years, I'm still here. What people need to know, coming into manufacturing, it is hard work. If you plan to come to work and have your nails and hands all clean by the end of the day, you're in the wrong line of work. I think it's a matter of finding what you like. For example, say, what did I like? And I look back on it and I couldn't necessarily articulate it then. I like being around technical things, but I also look back on it and I go, I was kind of an organizer. I was a leader. And I like to be that guy that pulled the team together and maybe organized the softball game. And as ironic as that maybe sounds is, those are a lot of the skills that one needs to maybe work in a leadership role within a company. And so don't set those things aside and discount them. People always said growing up that you just seemed like a good fit for sales. So I would say my father had a lot to do with it. He had a very entrepreneurial spirit um, and somewhat of a sales background as well, and somebody that I always looked up to. And uh, when I got out of college, it just seemed like a really good fit and something that I'd like to pursue. If I had to make different decisions in high school, I would definitely bury myself in, in some more shop classes and really polish up on the math. If you're a hands-on person and you want to work with your hands, then that's where you want to be. You know, I, I couldn't see myself sitting in a cubicle, you know, pushing numbers all day. If you want to be a part of something and watch it literally start off from a piece of raw steel and watch it get welded, formed, shaped, painted, and the end product and manufacturing is where you want to be. I think from start to finish, actually seeing something work that you put together, that you actually physically, whether it's even just a little relay, you wire a relay up and you see it actually do what it's supposed to do, I think that is just it's awesome. You got to like what you're doing. You gotta happy with yourself. I love with this job. You gotta love what you do. And when you love what you do, everything just comes smooth. A lot of areas offer apprenticeship programs. Here in Hammond, we got the Career Center. A lot of guys can go there. We actually have a couple of guys that came from the Career Center, and now they're some of our best welders. Depending what area you're in, there's so much resources out there. And I'm seeing it now because my kids are in the late high school, early college ages. It's also important for them to network. So get them that summer job. Let them get in there and spend a three or four month period. Did you like it? What did you like about it? So continue to talk with people, utilize their resources. I don't care who you are, you know other people. I'm here today at Tri-State because of networking. Don and I have known each other for 13 years via some different professional groups. And when I started a search right about this time last year, I reached out to my network and he was one of those people. And I came from entry level job and I moved up to the ranks to floor management, to the assistant plant manager, the head of safety. And to be honest, when I came to Tri-State, a lot of the skills I possess today, I didn't have. Tri-State helped me acquire them. It feels really good knowing that 
I'm helping grow this business. We like to hire attitude. There's skill, but there's also attitude. And if somebody really has that positive attitude, we can go miles.